so here I've got this time capsule and I don't normally do unboxing but uh, god dang you know Apple just does the most amazing flipping job with their boxing this is I mean I've gotten things that are more expensive than this from the company itself you know not not Apple but I mean like Dell or something not really usually Dell but let's just say something that's more expensive than this and it's got like cheap bubble wrap packed in or newspaper or something you know this is like just you know good corner impact resistant foam like setup stuff which is ideal and just exactly appropriate and uh... here is the 802.11 in Wi-Fi which I, or I ordered uh, an airport extreme and then decided you know they just came out with this. It's not all that much more. I mean, if you're going to spend it on uh, just the the 802.11 in, why not wait and just get the hard drive on there too and not have to worry about it? Have one less thing to plug in, one less thing to set on your wherever, you know. And uh, bang, you know, I got this sucker. Ooh, it's pretty too. Yes, okay, so... You know, of course, in my opinion, they always do a superb job of packaging, and I I know that it does shouldn't really matter. I mean, it's the product we're buying. We're not buying a box, but damn it! I mean, why w if a company is uh, company should just make things look appealing anyway. It's part of the deal. At least I would. You know, if you want to make money anyway. So anyway, time capsule. It's not too heavy either. Just about a little heavier than the uh, airport extreme, but anyway, I will possibly do a review on the actual performance of this product as compared to my old Belkin router, which is sitting right there. Anyway, everything's a bit of a mess right now, I, you know computer there and all that junk over there in the corner and then the TV there and I actually got a new um, receiver and surround sound I have yet to share that with you guys in fact there's a speaker there's a speaker I uh, have some pretty cool pretty cool stuff to share with you guys when I get some time sorry about not being too active in the YouTube area lately I like how Apple does their packaging. I no way. I love how Apple does their packaging. Ooh. 
comes through the toughest grease and is highly feasible on soap foam. One great product for kitchen and bathroom. Lysol, disinfect to protect. Very nice. Same powered by Lysol Floribles and these refreshing fragrances. No larger than uh, than the other one, I believe. Pretty cool. <laughs> All righty, well, I'm gonna just kind of leave it around in this because don't need it yet. I have a huge important project at school, and I can't afford to not have the internet in case something goes wrong. So I'll do it. Okay. Please forgive my redness. I, I know I've got redness. I don't know what the deal is. I've been seeing the doctor about it. Uh, and also, <laughs> all of this, I, I, it's pretty crazy, but I've just been really lazy. And other than brushing my teeth and taking a shower, I just haven't been, you know, personally grooming. I, I think it's kind of, I think it's really neat, actually. I don't know. I don't really care. Um... Anyway, what is that? It's kind of a darker. Must be an illusion. I don't know. Oh yeah, sorry. <clears throat> Back on to the point, of course. Uh, the time capsule, it's really cool. Uh, the only problems I had at all in this transition to the time capsule... My neck looks fat like that. There, I'll do it like this. The only problem I had with my transition to the time capsule was with my Dell printer. I don't know what the deal is with that thing, but it just gave me like huge run around. I finally got it to work and I just basically stopped there and said, you know what, everything works, I'm going to leave it be. But uh, I don't have it as 802.11 in, which sort of disappoints me because I think I could totally do it and have like kick ass, long range, and all that good stuff. But, um,. Um, I'm not too worried about it because it all works anyway. Uh, time Capsule uses the airport setup thing in the applications, utilities, whatever thing on Apple to set up and I don't really care for that. It just doesn't seem like you have as much control over every little option but I guess that's sort of the way they want you to do it anyway. They, they just want, they want to take care of everything and you just set it up. It's really easy and, and it works anyway so I guess that's the important thing. Uh, that's all. I just wanted to add a little review to that, this video, too. Um, I hate unboxing videos. It makes, I think it's sort of pretentious or something like that. I don't know. I think they're, I get so mad at people who just, Oh, look, I'm unboxing an iPhone. I'm unboxing a Wii. I'm unboxing a PlayStation or an Xbox or a computer or something. And I like to share my experience and you know the wrapping and stuff of the thing but I don't want it to be just like a, a whole bunch of showing off I don't mean to do it but like that uh, I just wanted to point that out so I'm gonna post a few videos like today and uh, some old ones that I need to edit and just throw up because they've been on my computer forever and I'm never gonna get them up if I just put them up so enjoy <laughs>